Here in Little John Coliseum, the Clemson Tigers close out a season opening five game homestand, taking on the Bulldogs of Alabama A&M out of the swag. Hi, everybody, and welcome in with Jim Davis, Pete Gannity with you, a Tigers team that's really picked up the scoring over the past couple of games. They certainly have, Pete. In the last game against Detroit Mer uh, Mercy, they had three players with 18 points or more. Now First time that's happened in more than 10 years. In a 22-point win on Sunday. Now, tonight, they're going to turn to one of their veterans and newcomers in the starting lineup. Curran Scott will get his first start in place of the injured freshman Chase Hunter, who has a foot issue. Ern Scott's a newcomer, but he's a veteran. He's a graduate transfer from Tulsa, and uh, they need that veteran leadership. Trying to get his team a fourth straight win. He is closing in on the all-time Clemson record for victories, held by Cliff Ellis at 177. So Brad ties it with five more victories. The 10th year head coach facing Alabama A&M for the first time. In fact, the first ever meeting between the Tigers and a school located in Huntsville, Alabama, that went Division I in 1999. And has one SWAC title to their credit. That was back in 2006. And we've got some technical issues in the arena. Dawes, no look. And then Sims kicks out left wing. And on the way, Tevin Mack. And the Bulldogs still without any points here. Three and a half minutes in. Sims, the crossover. We saw him score like that the other day against Detroit Mercy. Newman tried to get it inside. Ball was deflected, but Mack to Sims. Sims on the left wing, Dawes. And the rebound comes down to the Tigers. Kayvon Moore just got on the court. Dawes, another try. And that time he rattles it home. Two of his past three. Mack leads the way at 41%. Long inbound try. There's Scott to come away with the steal. Another one for Curran, his second as a Tiger. And just like that, Tyson. And they'll count it. Buddy from their AAU days before they came to Clemson together. There's Scott doing one of the things that they hope he can contribute. He was 3 of 10 beyond the arc before the game began. Doing a great job. And again, the scoring at times they really haven't needed the scoring that guy is one reason because Hunter Tyson continues to feel it from the outside those two made threes Leads the Tigers with six Mac stroking the three for the Bulldogs Tigers have opened this up nice job getting it inside and Jemison able to finish on the feed from Curran Scott to grow in this Clemson program. Fade away that time. No by Moore. Jemison. He'll over Mack, rather. And Mack will get the roll. You're going to count it? They will, says Roger Ayers. Early stages. Dawes and Mack. Got a feeling he knew it was going down after it left his hands. To Craig Jemison. That's the kind of strong rebounding they want out of the sophomore. Newman. Oh, and he'll flush it. Just into the game is... Premier Brown, a freshman who has yet to play in a game this year. John Newman, shot clock at five. Sims getting extended rest back on the court. Moore. Tyson. Smooth touch that time. Mack thought about the jumper. Jemison instead. A little spin move, a lefty hook for the big phone. Moore. Working the perimeter, Dawes, oh, changes hands in the air, and he'll head to the line. No look on the wing, Dawes, Alamir Dawes. Games they needed to make threes. Got the timeout, feet inside. Nine turnovers for Clemson now. Look at Hogue driving the lane. Folks want to see a jump. Remember last year there was some great walk-on moments for little John. A rainbow. Wow. Yes, he was. Did a great job at Nevada, and now he's, now he's taking over the program at Cal. Look yeah. at Newman slashing to the basket. And we saw Mark Fox quite a bit here last year. Dawes goes for the steal on the runout. Alamir Dawes. You've really been working on more things away from the basket. I get that impression. Look at Grindy with a spin move, and he's got another field goal to his credit as a Clemson Tiger. Tigers will dribble it out and put away a four straight win, 87 to 51 against Alabama A&M for Brad Brownell. He is now just four shy of Cliff Ellis's all-time wins record at Clemson.